Bloomies are forever. Hello, we meet again. My name's Melissa and today we will be unboxing two of the Thread Up DIY jewelry boxes. These go for sale, on sale from time to time for about 30, 32, 34 dollars. I had happened to get my hands on about 50 boxes, maybe even a little bit more, in February and very slowly we are unwrapping them. There are five pounds of jewelry here, wrapped in tissue. See if the price is on here, $34. And I thought these had completely sold out and I was glad to be wrong. Some of my subscribers and my Patreon members let me know that they were on sale yet again this past week. So if you continuously look for them, keep looking. <laughs> they are really hard to catch. this box open for the good pieces. I've been photographing and photographing and this was today's treat. I'm down to less than this that is not on currently and on I mean my eBay store. Let's flip you down a little bit. There we are. I have no makeup on. I just took a nap so I have all sorts of things happening with my face, but I wanted to do this and I get to do this. This is unmarked. I have very large wrists, more like fists. I would probably get that on and never get that off. So I would say this would fit a size medium. It does have a very soft feel to it. There's pastel yellows, some chevron kind of thing happen. Looks like a little bit of an Easter egg. We'll keep that. A ring, I didn't bring my ring sizer over. This one is a resin or hardcore plastic. My favorite color. Oh, that's great. This is a seed bead cluster necklace. That's what I call it at least. And the marking is Sea Wonder. So Sea Wonder has some mid-range, kind of 20s, 30s price range. Some of the stuff is re really well done. Some of it's not as well done, but this seems to be a well done piece. Has a brass tone metal with some turquoise and then a little bit of a metallic gold dipped look. Love these. <laughs> Look how big my bun is today. Cause you can get it over your bun. Easy peasy. Looks so pretty hanging up on a jewelry table or if you have one of those big bulletin boards full of jewelry. I'd imagine I could get probably $3. The ring, eh. The necklace though, maybe six or seven. I've been grouping a lot of bangles up today. Today was bangle day. And these look like they go together. This one just has an H in a circle. Let's see if there's any markings inside. Nope. This one just has a little tassel, little metal tassel. No markings inside. And then there's a third piece. And this one doesn't exactly go with the rest because there's a texture to it. And there's a little ball, but I'll probably lot those up for a couple dollars see if we can't find more of those. Love this piece. It is marked Street One. I don't know who Street One is. It's a black cord. And then all of the fun is down here. We have some plastic. Oh, the shades of blues are so pretty. Translucent. We've got a big bobbly one there some kind of horn pointing shape ones there, some buttons. Yeah, nice. Again, maybe a couple dollars. 
the last one I opened up was that um, Michael Kors box. That was really good. So I'm sure we won't open up another one like that for a while. I just pulled two from the top. It looks to me that one of these has broken, so I'll have my husband remove those extra pieces. Might even be easy enough. Yep. And so instead of four strands of pearls, we now have the two strands of pearls and two strands of the gauge chain. Fix that right up, didn't we? Oh, pretty. I don't know what this is. This is clearly a necklace. Unmarked. Looks to be costume jewelry. It's really pretty. It's a bib style, so it fills in that kind of collarbone, low collarbone area. The rhinestones are what's really catching my eye because they look like butterfly wings. We've lost two rhinestones and they look like they would have just come clean out. So I will set this aside. If I can't find the two that are missing, then this will go in my junk bin. I will sell junk jewelry here when I have a big enough box. This one is from Anne Klein. It is a toggle opening, a matte gold, textured link, very Anne Klein-esque. The perfect piece to wear on a safari, I would say. I might be able to get $10 out of that since it's marked Anne Klein. Another piece, this is Banana Republic. This is also a textured matte gold link. And it too has a toggle. The toggle bar has some is this rhinestones, little pave rhinestones set in, very pretty. I do pretty well with these. I would say I would get about seven to $8. Oh yes, we haven't found one of these in a while. I've sold so many of these. These are kind of just a wrap style. I have these in blues and greens and pinks and purples. This one's more pink and gold. I would say gold. It's like a slap bracelet, but taken to fashion. We've lost a few little things, so I will put those back in. That looks like we have a whole bunch more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So, so far, twelve, and these are made by Sugar, Sugar Fix? Sugar Fix. Maybe it's like a bobble bar type of thing. Um, I will stretch each one to make sure the stretch is there. They do seem very stretchy a black seed bead and each has one little gold bar just to elevate it a little bit. Those will obviously be sold in a lot. Then we have a faceted and seed bead. Just tiny little little nothing of a a bracelet, uh, a necklace. You're not going to be able to see this however because I'm wearing black so pretend I'm not. There you are. We're gonna put all of the earrings to the side. We'll do the same with the rings after we try it on. Wow, oh, this is a very long strand of pearls. There we are. Let's, let's check them. These are old. They are hand knotted. I'll check to see if there's any markings on the clasp. The clasp is one that turns and twists. I don't see any markings on the clasp. Sometimes that helps us determine if it's a nice pair of pearls or not. 
I have found 24 karat gold or 14 karat gold. These have a luster to them. They're not glass. I'm trying to dent one. Because of the hand knotting and the luster and how uneven they are, they're not perfect matches. These could be real. I'm gonna tend toward right now, not real. But we'll see. These wire pieces, I never love getting. Because so many times the wire is bent out of shape. So let's see about this one. Yeah. The clasp is over here. And then if that was to be, then the wire's all wonky. So we will give this one away in the junk, the junk pile. Unmarked. This is very lightweight. Seems to be maybe a clay that somebody painted, like an art piece. And the middle of the piece has, I'm not sure, maybe a dinosaur or a sun. On that side, the guy looks like he has a little eye, but on the other side, it's more matte. And you can see it resembles a sun. Very minimalism um, based jewelry. Very pretty. This looks like Sea Wonder, but who makes you? Nobody makes you. Oh, I like the little addition of the pointed pieces surrounding the stones. Gives it a little bit of a higher end look. I have sold this, I just sold another one. Was it a gray one? I call these baubles or what else did I call these? I think baubles. This one's pretty, the coloring is pretty, the kind of translucent aqua with the matte and then the shiny, very pretty shades of blues and teals. Another unmarked piece. Did not expect that to happen. This is also unmarked. This is a fun piece. An unusual piece because of how many different items were used. So you have the very fun, almost mirror disco ball. I don't know if it'll pick up the light. Um, links. And then a few of these little swirl DNA swirl things. And then there's a chunkier bead and then some more swirls and then a completely different gauge. I wonder if you can wear this around twice. I would say yes. Yes, you would be able to. You would just need to turn to the back. I don't know what that would give you in the front. but it would be possible. I feel very goth. I'll let you know if anything's worth more than a few dollars. Ooh, I love this. We've hooked some other pieces. Again, some seed beads. Ooh, these feel very smooth. These are brown plastic and kind of a gold metal plastic. They don't feel exactly plastic, but the metal content is low. This reminds me of something like Coldwater Creek would come out with. You could see this in like linen pants walking down by the ocean kind of thing. An easy piece. Set aside some earrings. 
Not sure what this is. It looks to be a necklace. It is a necklace. So we have some slightly hammered golden gold tone loops. Unmarked. I'll probably sell this for like $3.99 or so. This looks to be like a napkin ring. <laughs> Someone made a napkin ring because it's much too tiny for anybody's wrist. So if somebody needs one napkin ring, you can reuse the beads. We'll put that in the, the junk box. Do we think we'll get anything worth at least $20? This goes this way. Let's make this one big strand. Oh, this has a lot happening. This is like one of those convertible pieces. Oh, yeah. Wow. Okay, so this would be the base necklace. So what is that, like an 18 inch necklace? And then with all of these little clips, I could put, for instance, if I want a dependent, I could put the pendant there and suddenly I have a pendant. But they've given you enough. Now I can make myself, yes, I can, <laughs> a bracelet. And there's still a good bit more. I could make myself another bracelet, or I could make myself a very long pendant. So this is one of those pieces that could be used to do so many things. I forget what they're called. A convertible kit? I saw this on Instagram one day, something very much like this. I'm gonna attach all the pieces in one long length just so I don't lose any. And I thought, well, that's rather clever, but the person was doing it with magnets, which have a tendency to fall off a little bit. There we go. But me, I like the concept of that, that you just pack one long strand and you can wear different ways if you're going on a cruise. <laughs> feathers flying everywhere okay this looks pretty I've sold something very similar to this there we are yes so this is marked it has that splat thing again I'm not going to be able to get a, a picture of it up close it just looks like like an ink blot splat So it has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven strands, a multi-strand. Um, some of them have just chain, the gauge. Some of them have rhinestones. Some of them have beads, and some of them have links with rhinestones surrounding them. And then up on this side is a flower. Pretty. I might be able to get $10 to $15 for this, especially as it's marked. If I knew what that marking was, that would help. Don't know what that marking is. Oh, we have a large thing coming. Let's pull this one instead. Can we? This is some pressed pink and purple flowers. Somebody pressed it in a very pretty way. And I'm gonna say this is a faux leather. So kind of a shadow box effect and it is lined in gold with the black faux leather cord. Just pulls over your head. We have confetti seed beads, but they are intermixed with 
every single thing in this bag. Oh, are there more than one? Okay, we got the first. Are you marked? No, you are not. So some fun seed beads. They do have some, I was gonna say pin tucks, that's what it would be on clothing, where they're meant to be loose and then they're gathered together with some gold beads and then loose again and gathered together with gold beads the whole way around. Really pretty, well done. I love those kinds of confetti beads. That's what I call seed beads, um, done in different colors. I think we have a second one in here. <laughs> Also have a key let's see if we can get that key out okay so the second one looks exactly like the first so we have two that should be easy for listing them there we are let's look at this key this key says L A G O S 925 so it's a sterling silver key it is entwined with something else, so it doesn't look like a bad, a bad uh, intertwining. Come on, you can see your friend later. Let go. I'm gonna have to open one of these up. Oh, there we go. So the key is really well done. It's a heavy sterling silver. guess this is worth something because of how nice this is and the sterling. I'm going to look this up. It's a quarter till eight right now. I should probably be packaging. We could package tomorrow. Okay, let's go on eBay and L-A-G-O-S. Nine two five necklace or key. Let's just put key and see what comes up. Oh, oh yes. <laughs> Let's go to um let's go to sold before I lose my head here. Okay. So similar pendants to this have sold for 130, 190. I'm trying to find another similar. There's a ton of other keys, but not this exact one with this brand. It's bringing up a lot of Tiffany keys. How many are there? Oh, only five. So I would expect this to bring over the $100 mark, which is excellent score. In there. Okay. This next piece has, oh, Mark by Mark Jacobs, a bright kind of lemon lime pop of color. And there's some balls and then some flat discs and then the lemon lime again. And it goes the whole way around and there's the back clasp, but you wouldn't really need it if you left it long. I like the, the, the yellow. I would want to turn all the yellows toward the front, just because there's so few of them, and that adds, adds that fun pop. This is a very substantial piece, metal, clearly. It is a brown matte metal. And the way the designer made the leaf, it curls in on itself, and that curl created that pendant. So when you're wearing it, it would sit rather nicely on your chest. But then from the side, it has that sculptural element. And then from the side, it has that sculptural 3D element toward it. I don't see any markings, but a pretty piece. Reminds me of a Jade Jill or something like that. We have a little lace bit. 
This is unmarked. Somebody could have made this. I'm trying to think of which way it goes. So it would go rather high, like a lace collar, but reimagined. I'm guessing they had a favorite doily or perhaps their mom or aunt had a favorite doily that they wanted to make into a keepsake. And that's what that turned out to be. Pretty. I'm not a doily wearer, but I can appreciate a good doily. Oh, we got some pieces tangled. This DIY box, if you didn't know, DIY means do it yourself. It's made for crafters. It's made mostly of broken jewelry, but I haven't really found that to be so. A lot of them are sellable still. Oh, fun. This changes um, the look of the outer shape by how low. So if you put that very low, it takes on a very um, angular. And if you were to I don't know, wear it across your shoulders, which, why would you do that? It would become almost rectangular. So, very fun. I don't see any markings on this either. We are putting the earrings to the side, and then we will decide if we have enough paper. is an interesting piece. You can put it, the back clasp is marked. It is marked 925. Very nice. So it is sterling silver. It has an arrow that goes through a circle and then there's a little bird with a freshwater pearl, I would say. And it's more of a lariat. You could wear it like something like this, or put the two together and wear it like that. But that's nice that it's marked. I'll have to see if it has a maker's mark or if it's just marked the 925. But if it is just marked 925, that does increase the value from maybe a four or five dollar necklace to maybe a 10 to 15 dollar necklace. I love this. I love this so much. These giant pearls with caps, with these ornate caps. Who makes this? Bobble Bar, of course you do. Bobble Bar has some great costume jewelry. It's heavy too. If you were thinking of going for like a mermaid look, but without being too mermaid, oh, so pretty. I love it. <laughs> also, I have no makeup on, so I'm trying not to get up to the camera too much. A little scary. I was laying in bed and I was just thinking, I'm feeling good for the first time today. I want to be doing something fun. So pretty, right? The caps. They remind me of acorn caps almost. But they're like seashell acorns. Love that. I should be able to get, I don't know like 10 or 15 dollars out of that this is a really nice piece are you marked is the game we are playing the closure is really nice the luster is really nice i don't see any markings Maybe just a really well done costume piece. Huh. So it's a bracelet with faux pearls. You can wear it just like that. But the real showstopper here is the clasp. Will I be able to do this by myself? I'm guessing I will. There we are. It looks like a nest for eggs, let's say. And then it has one little pearl in the center. So pretty. 
And this would fit up probably to about an eight inch wrist, maybe even bigger. That's nice. That's not going anywhere. So I'd probably be asking about $5 for that. Sometimes I'm given these, and I know they can't possibly be necklaces other than for a baby because they just stop right there. And they're way too big for an ankle or um, a wrist. So they have to be children's jewelry. So that's when I, I make the call, unless there's any markings, that those those will just be going in my junk lot. Maybe somebody can repurpose them, or maybe somebody has an American Girl doll, and she can have a new necklace. golden sea wonder so a gold tone link a very smooth i was gonna say mother of pearl but i don't think it is it's just a white stone and a whole bunch of little clear stones with the fringe sea wonder like i said it is a mid-range i would expect they would have priced this piece for around 20 25 dollars so I'll price it probably for around six dollars. These look like blueberries. There we go. Let's see how this is worn. There's the clasp. No maker's mark. It is a nice weight though. So you have two faceted flatter stones. They look exactly like blueberries. <laughs> They're all different, all different um, sizes. There's like shorter blueberries toward the top and bigger blueberries toward the bottom. And this is where the black shirt fails. I'll probably mark this for, I don't know, $7.99. Maybe you sell blueberries in your spare time. To be quite delicate and broken and long and it has an earring in it okay so it broke we knew it broke I don't think I'm gonna be able to fix this so where did this break it broke right here and it broke onto there. Oh, maybe I will be able to fix it. My husband's been fixing my jewelry today. I gave him two pieces and he came back and only one could be fixed, but that's all I wanted to know at least. I don't have needle nose pliers, so let's see. go squeeze that back shut and let's see if that'll work for now small little fixes like that I can do so this has kind of a ruby red purple rhinestone balls little gold I hate to even call them balls and gold chain three tiers three layers. Pretty. I should be able to get six or seven dollars for that after the fix. So the key looks to be the redeeming item of this box. But let's see what this is because this feels different. We like different. Okay. So, there we are. What does this say on the front? Nothing. 
It has like a um, squiggly sun almost on a flat disc. So it kind of has an Aztec sun, sundial kind of look to it. Are we at all earrings? I think we are. And we're also still looking for the rhinestones that go into this butterfly thing. I'll put it up here for now. But if we find them, we will let you know. Okay, so now I'm just going to play match, match the earrings really quickly. We have a pair of orange. No names. Teardrop, open teardrops. We have a pair of coral flat discs that feel oh so nice. Love those smooth pieces. And we have, I might actually have something very similar to this. Um, Cheyenne is who made mine. I don't know if that's who makes these. They're faux turquoise. Mine don't have the um, middle rhinestone. These have a rhinestone in the middle. Hey, plain. But faux turquoise. We have a black. These feel decent. Do you have a marking? No, you do not. These look like they could be um, maybe from the 80s or something. Just the way the rhinestones are set. I'm sure we'll come across a little. Maybe we won't. We have extra backs, so it's not a big deal. These are um, a little bit more substantial than your average hoop. They're black with clear rhinestones put in a channel. Another faux, I think these are Ralph Lauren. I just sold and didn't package it yet. I have to package it tonight. Um, a Ralph Lauren bracelet and necklace set and I'm pretty sure these go to it. So I will be sending those over with that. And if she doesn't wear them, she can donate them. We have a cobalt blue. Very similar to the orange I showed previously. These are also very similar. These have pearls and rhinestones. No marking. Ooh, love this one. Do we have two of those? We do. So pretty. Make sure they're all there. The center stone, I'm going to call it, it's plastic, has like an AB coating, Aurora Borealis, so it catches the light a little bit. Let's focus on one. So it's white and then a clear with that, that coating over it, so it catches some lights. Turns it into different colors. a yellow. Not marked. I have both of these. They remind me of little um, bugs maybe or an airplane. I don't know. Whatever. Whatever that shape is. Not marked. Oh, these are pretty. Do I have two of these? Yes, I do. These are lovely. Let's see if I can get them. These remind me like of an Avon style of the 80s. Like really nice cocktail jewelry. They have several layers, three layers of rhinestones and then the pearl sticks out a little bit. But they definitely have a 3D aspect to them. Some dark wood Hoops. I 
Oh, another pretty piece. I wonder if somebody cleaned out their like 80s earrings here. <laughs> really pretty. This reminds me of a cigarette band ring, but done on an earring. Let's see if I can put that behind my ear. So it has like a straight down and then a big kind of cigar cocktail stone. I'm glad we're finding so many pairs. Oh, I dropped something. Just a light necklace. No marking. Pretty colors though for the spring. Okay, we have some fauceted, fauceted yellow earrings, dingle dangles. Very lightweight stars, almost like a western star with some fringe. I love these. I'm going to leave those for the end. Do we have a lot of these? Okay, so we have two sets of these, which is unusual. These seem to be from that same 1980s. They just made things differently back then. These might even be a tarnished sterling silver. Let's see if these are, these say it. They're so old. Okay, so I'll show you one. There's two in this color, which is kind of like a dusky, a dusky brown amber color. And then the other color is a lighter <laughs> brown. So here are the two colors next to each other. And I have four, all four of them. So you get two matching sets. One blue goes to nothing. One red goes to nothing. Then I have these. These are unusually made. Do they come out? Oh. Why would you need your earring to come out in that way? Okay, so we have somewhat of a hoop. And the middle comes out. The middle part of your hoop. And it's not broken. It's meant to click back in place. What in the world could you hide in the middle of your earring hoop? Something almost very tiny, an I love you on a tiny, teeny piece of paper. Does this one do it too? Oh, maybe it was a flaw. No, this one must do it too. Yes, this one does it too. Is it meant to fold up? I don't understand this whatsoever. These are very odd. I like the sculptural aspect of them. Little gold bar curves. Some kind of tiger's eye, natural, I don't know what those are called. I don't know enough about stones. Jasper something. One that doesn't match anything. Next, we have a ring, our only ring. It's a bigger size and it is not marked. I do have a ring um, sizer, that's what that's called. Two that don't have matches. Two bars with a really dark green. Are you marked? This reminds me of a Lexus guitar. Unless you're not marked and then you remind me of nobody. The back says fossil, but the back's also, we're gonna go with fossil. Sure, why not? Um, these are gonna be really tiny. They are true bar earring. There's both of them. And they're green. Surrounded by gold. 
Now these have such a prettiness to them. They're going to be shined up. They are sterling silver. I don't see any other markings, just the 925. I have sterling wipes, uh, 925 on the posts as well. Um, let's see, earrings are, are a tough thing for me to show. Sorry about that. They have like um, a swirl to them, like an infinity swirl almost. I should have these up by the end of May. Oh, oh, another red, a red earring. I had counted you out, but we found you. Any other? Oh, we have another one down here. A clear earring. Do we have a clear one? We do. Clear earring. And just one little pearl with no earring. Oh, and a brown one. I have dropped a lot of earrings, clearly. <laughs> okay, so that was the first. And out of that, the unsellables. Almost fit in one hand. They do, they fit in one hand. And I am going to be gifting these to the Ralph Lauren. So that was everything that I cannot sell out of that, which was not bad at all. Okay, let's open up the second one. I'm sorry about the light. The light has gone down a little early. I don't think this is gonna make a big deal. pink seed bead something and it's trapped in its self all sorts of other things there we go it's a mop it's a it's got to be a necklace right okay let's see oh I had one of these today that I photographed this one is marked Cara, C-A-R-A -A with the umlaut. I guess that's what that is. So it starts with a button and then is crocheted and then drops into all of these layers of seed beads. The one I had today I believe was tan and it wasn't marked, but it was this exact same kind. So now I'm wondering if I could use Cara. <laughs> Pretty. I should be able to get, I'm going to say $10 for that. We have a few tassels. This is an earring, so we'll set that aside. Another earring. This is a carved. I am out of my element with this one. A carved something. Scarab, maybe? I've heard that word used. I feel like wood. It's a heavier piece with some gold beads in between. Um, and then the blue, the bright blue at the end almost looks like a bug, I would say. Like a beetle. Like a beetle bug. There is some carving in the back, but there's no way for me to read that. So whatever that is, I have to research that for way too long and then put a price on that of $9.99. Um, these magic spring bracelets do pretty well. This one reminds me of popcorn or like the popcorn jelly bellies or fake teeth. Are you a diet, a hygienist, a dental hygienist? Hi, I'm pronouncing that wrong. You know what I mean. 
Another pine green bracelet. That's what I call these greens, pine green. This one, everybody, um, there's like two people fighting over the pine green. They must have quite the collection. So I'm sure one of my pine green girls will, will snatch that up. This is an Anne Klein. Oh, pretty. Who makes you, oh, pretty? And how, oh, it's just a stretch piece. Huh. Okay, so this is a leather back. Oh, it's never gonna fit over my hands. Come on, we can do it. Oh my God, on. Rhinestones surrounded by a golden metal. That might be real metal, metal real leather. That's where I was going with that. Pretty, it looks brand new even after I put it over my giant hand. Come on. No markings though. Well done. Well done. Oh, we're gonna have just a whole bunch of bangles. So we'll set those aside for now until we've collected all 4,000 of them. This is a little angel. This is a very lightweight piece. Um, an angel with some faux rhinestones, unmarked. Cute to give to a granddaughter or grandson around the holidays, I'm sure. Then we have an evil eye. It looks like maybe even somebody drew this on a black cord. I'm going to probably put this in the junk pile. Not because it isn't cute, but just because it looks like a homemade piece. More magic wire. Let's see how this one sits. Oh, much better. In pastels pinks and greens and peaches and kind of an orchid, greens and blues and yellows. Maybe $5. This is a golden link. Let's see, here we go. It's unusual clasp for that. So that unusual clasp tells me that this might be something by some kind of designer, so. Or just maybe from decades gone by. I will look more closely. I like how all the links are moving loosely and they're not just stationary. This has a lot of movement as, as you move. I love that, I love that back closure. I've never seen anything quite like that on this kind of necklace. Good old stretch rhinestone bracelet. Didn't we all have these in the day? And still have them. I don't know what that is. That's part of an earring. There we go. Ooh, love the smokiness of the stones. Darks and lights, pinks and light pinks, almost blush. Fairly well done, I would say. Like not J. Crew, but definitely like a department store type of thing. Pretty. Some more pearls. These are faux pearls. I can tell that right away. They have a little bit of chipping to the paint. Let's see how these go. So I'm guessing, because there's no clasps, most just try to put it over your head like that, maybe? You could probably turn it around. I'm gonna guess not. Yeah, you would have to go with the bigger pearls in the back. Somebody, it looks like somebody made this. And how I know that is there's a bunch of little metal bits sticking out. I'll go around and clip those. I have scissors that cut really, really smoothly. 
do I just give this to the junk pile? I'll think about it. We have a watch. Don't be late. It is Disney, Alice in Wonderland. Now, almost all watches I've ever had, and this one is no exception. Oh, and it's missing a rhinestone, darn it. Um, work, but need a battery to work. So if I find one little clear rhinestone and pop it in there, we might be good to go. But if not, I'll put it in the junk. Another earring. Another earring, I might as well just show you these. I'll ask my mom, my mom has a ton of tassel earrings. She was actually buying some rhinestone necklaces next. So I'll see if she wants the pale pink um, fringe tassel earring. And we have a blue one as well. This one's interesting though. And I noticed this on the first one. It's fairly well wrapped. It's like coiled on itself and then it just has a post. So I'm not sure exactly how that's supposed to happen. You're just supposed to put them in like that, I guess. I don't, I don't wear jewelry. It's amazing how many styles of jewelry are though. This is Bobble Bar. goes. This reminds me of jellyfish. I have been stung by a jellyfish just once. In greens and royal blues, not the one I was stung with. Bobble has fairly good, um, it's all sorts of stuff, stuff stuck following. This is a magnetic faux leather bracelet I'll probably get about five dollars these magnetic ones are so nice you don't have to worry about having somebody else on hand to put them on and they're pretty secure oh nope take that back this one will be going in the junk I could possibly try to wedge that with some um, glue and honestly I could do that fairly easily but I'm gonna leave that up to the person who buys the junk lot we have, oh, a beautiful stone. I wonder if that's real. It feels like a real stone. It feels like a real stone with a lot of product on it. <laughs> it's brown and then the corner goes into a very pale pink and that is translucent. Yeah, translucent. On a black corded necklace, unmarked. It's so funny. I had one of these today in pink that I didn't know what to do with. It didn't match anything. So I'll match it with this and sell them um, together. These faceted beads. One in pink, one in blue with the same kind of tassel. Okay, we got an earring. Let's pull that guy out of there. And... There we are. So this is gonna fit like a choker almost, but then it goes very long. It goes past my belly button. You're not gonna be able to see it. So it has like this top part, this little fringes, and then a very long metal fringe. Let's see if I can find a maker on here. I'm gonna guess not. This is a true costume piece. See if I can get it off first. <laughs> Come on. There we are. Let's see. No maker. Cute though. Catches the light really prettily. Let's do this blue one next because I am into blue. This is Brighton. I could have told you that right away. I was looking for that little bee. Brighton Jewelry always has um, this little heart clasp, has a heart on the bottom, and it also has like a little puffed heart with a script B. There's this distinctive, can you hear the owl? 
because it has a darkened silver with some engraving. They're, they're very well known for their jewelry. I should be able to get about $15 for that. Here is, oh, <laughs> it says jerk. It's branded on the back. I think it says $15, but it's just a bracelet that says jerk. That's so funny. What do you do with that? Put that over there. We have another tassel earring. Let's see if my mom wants this one again. I think she said she had red at these. These might just go in the junk pile. They're looking a little, you might be able to clean them up, but they're looking a little uh, disheveled. Oh, pretty. Some glass pieces in different shapes and sizes. Most of them kind of have a champagne color or very pale, transparent pink color with air bubbles. You would be able to wrap this twice around and get that look. Pretty, just a simple neutral piece, no markings. Some more of those black bangles. What is this? Why did I set this aside? Okay, so there's the top. We have an earring mixed in it. Um, hmm. This has some paint flicking, flicking off of the faux pearls. I'm choosing not to sell this. It was a black leather woven throughout with like faux pearls, but the pearls are almost plastic, like a soft plastic. So that will be going into our junk pile. Okay, so this piece could be sterling. Could not be sterling, could still be sterling. I'm gonna guess it's not sterling. It does have some markings, but I wonder if they're more like clamp markings um, and not a set stamp. Yeah, I would think this is in sterling now that I saw that. Okay, so it is like an orange and silver. If you love orange or, I guess it's kind of a corally color, coral enamel. I'll probably sell that for about $3.99. I will pull some earrings out of here. We just have one large thing of clay. <laughs> okay, this is a necklace. It's got some prisms on it. You can hang it in your window and catch some, some rainbows. I, I think that's it. So it has, very odd, black and it's very lightweight. It's almost not metal, do you know what I mean? Silver tone and clear and black. And then there's these two kind of prism Aurora Borealis pieces, but they're right there. So my brain thinks you'd have to wear it like this but then all of the light pieces are here and the dark pieces are here. So if I would wear it like this, I don't know. I don't know how you wear it. Not thinking of that tonight. This looks like a pretty piece with a piece of hair in it. Unmarked. Marked. It is marked. Holy cow. That's a very tiny marking. Let's see if I can get a picture of it. And then blow it up. I bet you I'm not even going to be able to do that. Okay, let's see what that says. It says it's worth a million dollars. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to eat up. But I'll have to get that thing that gives me headaches. Let's see if this part is marked. Oh, it's missing stones, darn it. So even if it is 
marked. It would have been marked maybe sterling, I was thinking, um, but it is missing stones. So I could still save the, if I thought this was sterling, I'll look at it a little bit later, but it might go to the junk drawer. This is so heavy. <laughs> Has a lot entwined. Come on. What even are you? There's at least one earring. Just almost loose. Earrings always are the easiest to get loose. And then we have some kind of chain. There we go. Okay, so this is marked St. Thomas, which I know is a place. So I'm wondering if they bought it at St. Thomas or St. Thomas is um, also a jewelry maker. This, this is very heavy. It's it's substantial. <laughs> um, the blue is stunning and does look like it was carved. I know that could be man-made, but it does have like those, you know, when you carve something marks and this silver isn't shiny anymore on the front. So it is a matte. And then there's a whole bunch of a cord, a natural cord and some caps. I'm going to say in my head that people went to St. Thomas and had a great time and wanted to take back a piece of jewelry and they realized it when they got to the airport and this was one of the pieces they picked up for their aunt who was babysitting their dog. I don't know if that's right. Obviously. Okay. A lot of tangled. Oh, brand new with tags. Loft 44, 44, 50 loft. It's really pretty. <laughs> Are all the stones there? I believe they are. So it's that citrusy yellow citron maybe with some opaque, um, non-see-through, some crystals and rhinestones. And then my favorite part is the magnetic ball right there. And yeah, $44.50. I'm sure I'll be able to get like $9.99 out of it. This is just a chain with a little broken piece. Is it sterling? I've collected a pawn shop bag full of all of my sterling and gold and I'm hoping to get there soon. So no, this is not sterling and there's nothing on that. This is another chain. This one is quite a mess. So we'll give it a little bit of a, an attempt here. And if we can't, we'll just see if we can read any markings and then let her go. Oh, it's two actually. Okay, we're almost out of the woods. I should always have a needle here, especially because of the sensitivity of my fingertips is now completely gone. Okay, so I'm going to say this is probably nothing. It'd make a good chain for something, but I have sterling silver chains that don't have anything on them yet that I will use for nicer pieces. It has, um, it does have something. It's little rhinestones in a little semicircle. I don't know. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll keep it. Let's see what the next one is. This one looks like it has a triangle. Just a silver kind of hammered look triangle. Nothing special, but we'll keep that one as well. Next, we have a charm bracelet. It says gratitude with some hearts, love, passion, 
heart to heart sun create there's no sort of theme here embrace life joy eternity do we get back to the beginning gratitude love we did so how would you get this on here we go here's the class yeah this would be a woman's i'm a six and um 6.25 six and a quarter inch wrist that's how we say that here so this i might be able to get three or four ninety nine for we do have a pair of orange earrings it's a fun lightweight summer earring just screams summer at the beach that orange color we have a little cluster of golden leaves pierced ears of course unless I say it it's always pierced ears very rarely does um, a non pierced option come come up for sale they have some movement to them we have some stars a lot of the earrings I just tend to lot up oh these are pretty though these might, these might go by themselves. Oh, these are marked. What are you marked? Monet. So not the best marking, but at least they're marked. They are a heavier gold, gold tone at least, with some rhinestones. I think that's all of the matching ones. Then we have the same kind of clay. I bet you we have a broken one in there. Um, which, yeah, th this is gonna break very easily. I can't sell that. Sorry to the clay designer there. Let's see, it's a broken piece. This looks like a nice piece. This looks like almost a Brighton, but it's not. We have a heart cross. I never know Celtic crosses versus, I know what a regular cross is. I just don't know what Celtic cross is, I guess. This one's a fairly nice one. It has some movement to the charm. It's a weightier piece. I don't see any markings, but until I get out into the light, speaking of which, maybe I'll turn my light on. <laughs> oh, that's better. I should have had all that, that on the whole time. Sorry. Okay, so I don't know when I lost this piece, but um, it was on my foot. This is LC Liz Claiborne. I've had a lot of these like ladder necklaces lately. I don't know if they were in style at one point. Now they're not or they're back in style. I don't know. Nobody's bought any though. Ah, the old washers on wire. Okay, there's another earring. So somebody always gets a good idea to take this in. Somebody always gets a good idea to take this invisible wire and then try to stagger like washers almost. But you see what happens, the wire crimps too easily and you get one bend in that and then suddenly it's just bent at a weird angle. So, sorry to that person who tried. Okay, we have a multi-chain here. Is it missing one of its chains? It is missing a chain. I don't think that'll hurt it so much. It's the very end. I'll figure that the rest of that. So it has some polished silver tone, leaf shapes, teardrops. One side is polished and one side is um, more of a matte. So there's four chains, but there were supposed to be five. So that'll connect to the top. And that fifth one really doesn't bother me. 
it's not, you know, a well-known piece or marked by any means, so nobody's going to care. It has four or five. Not in that price range, at least. Okay, there's a lot of, there we go. So this is a two-tier necklace. Gunmetal, very nice gunmetal. No markings, but somebody did this well. Whoever made this. Yeah, this this was done well. Um, so the top tier, oh, it's marked. Aha, uh -huh, this is what, why it's made well. It's N-A, I spelled this the other day. N, N A. K-A-M-O-L. Don't quote me on that. It's really hard to read. Um, so the top tier has this little triangular kind of shape, pyramid shape, that's clear, but it has black like tinsel inside that's a metallic tinsel. Then the bottom tier is a real stone. It's gorgeous. It's Stunning. And it's wrapped professionally, thankfully, in a gold tone. I'm not going to be able to tell you the beauty of this stone. It's so pretty. It catches the light. It's got greens and like a muddiness to it almost. Um, it reminds me of something you're not going to remember. So that doesn't do us any good. Yeah, very pretty. Like when you open up a shell sometimes and it's all iridescent. It's a very specific shell. Okay, catch the light jewelry. That's what this is on it. Catch the light jewelry. Catch the light jewelry. I guess because it has pearls and a lotus. Is that somebody's name of their jewelry company? Catch the light because just to throw out jewelry and say, catch the light jewelry, doesn't sound like a good plan. I can't tell yet if the pearls are real or fake, but they're all done in like a pearly color, um, a creamy color with yellows. So that would make sense based on, very pretty, very pretty piece. Oh, and it's marked. Sterling, nice. I like catch the light jewelry. to get a new battery. I turned on more lights. Then we have this, which looks like somebody spent a lot of time on it. And unfortunately, the fringe needs rewrapped. But let's try to get this dragonfly off first. So, love the purple little stones. It's hand knotted in between every little bead. Love the color. What I will do, just because this is so um, crazy looking, like my hair sometimes when I wake up, I will get some twine and just wet this a little bit and then put a little piece of twine, a little piece of twine, or even some washi tape or something. So that straightens that out. That'll be a simple fix. And I would assume this would sell for five or six dollars. Somebody else gets to enjoy it, basically. Oh, I just had a dragonfly. Where'd you go? Here you go. Tiny little dragonfly. Damselfly? Dragonfly? I don't know. Rhinestone eyes, a kind of faux turquoise core, and a lightweight brass. You just pull it over your head. We have a whole bunch of these. The stretch on these is very tight. Oh, nope. <laughs> the recovery on that is not happening. So these will be going to the junk pile. See how this is still like majorly <laughs> not coming back. Those are no go. I'll put some more. This is a bracelet. A friendship bracelet. 
it doesn't look particularly well done um, and one side is coming out so that'll go with the junk oh this looks beautiful this looks well done should I say what this looks like oh I would have been wrong I would have thought like a Kate Spade or something this reminds me of something did I take a picture of this in black today I might have taken this picture in black today. Oh, also, I fake dyed my hair. There's an app where you can upload um, your picture and then you can dye your hair all sorts of colors and I was playing around. Okay, so here we go. I took a lot of pictures today. I really think I took something like this. Maybe in black. Certainly have a lot of planes flying over tonight. It's not a normal occurrence here. I did. It was black. Okay, so it's not the exact match, but that one was marked. And this one is not. So it reminds me of like a monarch wing or something um, with some white enamel and some silver polka dots and silver raised bits. Maybe I'll combine them together, get a couple dollars for them. Oh, I love this. <laughs> I thought it was a snake, but now I love it more. Um, it's, it's interesting. Um, it's a coil, so like a magic stretch magic coil whatever you call these and it has kind of like the reptile scales but then there is a really pretty red rhinestone rhinestone butterfly the only thing that i don't get is that the back of the the bracelet still has like a cobra tail or some kind of tail which butterflies don't have tails. So interesting. There's two hearts cut out, but past that there's no other. Um... Oh, and there's ventilation on here too. Does this just pop off? No, I don't know. I like it. Let's clean out the broken bits of clay. We have a watch. This is Clinton 17, unbreakable mainspring, unbreakable mainspring. Shock resistant. It was moving there for a second and now it's not. Let's see if I can turn it and get it going. I don't really know how watches work. <laughs> okay, so it moves when I do that. Did I get it going? Oh, I got it going! Oh, yay! Okay, so Clinton 17. It looks fancy-ish. Stainless steel. I know nothing about watches. Clinton 17 watch. Did you mean watch? Because I searched quatch. Yes, I did. Oh, whoa, let's do some solds here. Because this might be worth a couple hundred dollars. Okay, let's try not to get my hopes up. Let's go low to high. Oh, let's just go to high, high to low. <laughs> right, what's the fun? Let's go high to low. 550, 500. 250. Let's see. Mine look nice. Mine look just like these. Mine actually looks nicer than these. Oh, huh. Oh, I really might get $100 for this. What does it say on the back? 
waterproof tested shock dust and magnetism tested okay oh and all the things have little marks on them hey that might have just paid for that box so we have that lock key thing for the first one this feels nice too this feels something designer here we go are you marked the big game of the day are you marked you are not are you marked no so not designer has a nice feel to it it almost looks like buttonholes like an elongated um oval that did nothing there in a pale golden color, I would call it. Definitely gold, not silver, but not so gold that it's like gold. Getting itchy. We're almost through. Okay, we have a fancy little doohickey. Sometimes these are marked 10 carat or a low carat. This one does not seem to be marked. really wanted to check that because a lot of times these are this little claspy thing that pushes in okay so stones gray stones <laughs> i don't know what kind of stones these are they're a very smooth polished gray stone herm hermitite hum humidite i don't know Okay, we need to pause because I need to go um, tickle my nose. And I'm back. Ooh, this is lovely. The stretch on this is probably not going to recover. These are really pretty, though. Well, maybe I was wrong about that. Huh. Okay, I'm glad to be wrong. This reminds me almost of... Um, know something you'd find in the ocean like maybe a sand dollar or it just has all of those little bubbles if you don't like that look of all having little cavities and bubbles look away there's clear rhinestones silver tone none of the pieces are marked but very nicely done I'm glad to be wrong about that one. Ooh, tiger's eye ring. Let's see if I can get that out of here. Let's pretend that already was out of there. This is marked. What is this marked? P-A-E-L, something S-P-A-E-L. Israel. It's marked Israel, so I'm guessing this is 925. Should be able to find that stamp somewhere on it too. Once I'm disconnected from all of this, let's try to do it this way. I picked up a few pieces when I used to wear um, jewelry at TJ Maxx that were marked Israel and they were beautiful and I wore them and wore them and wore them and they became my daily pieces and I would get compliments on them and I went to sell them and they brought so much more than I had paid and I was shocked. So Israel is a pretty good marking from my past experience. Okay, this seems to be like just a piece of flat metal you could have engraved almost like a dog tag-esque. It feels very nice. So if you have anxiety and you like like a touching stone, like a very smooth, if you're calmed by that, this feels really, really nice. And there is a marking. It is 925. So, um, this 925 as well, I wonder. 
I would think it would be just by how nice this is. Um, the chain is like a darker, almost blackened silver with a silver stripe running throughout it. Pretty. We have a whole bunch of like this thing. I'm not sure what those are yet, but we got a bunch. Okay, let's tackle this. You are an earring, you can easily be out of here. Can you? Can you please easily come out of here? What? There we go, okay. So, this is a necklace. Got that much. Are you marked? You look handmade, but well done. You don't look marked. And you look broken. Are you broken? Oh no, not broken. Just needed to look at it from a different angle. So it's a very U shape with some wired bips and bobs. And then straight across are some blues and grays. I like the shape of the pendant. It has a little bit of an organic feel. There's a little bit of a hammering they did to it, so it's not so smooth. And yeah, very nicely done. I'll look for a maker's mark or any kind of mark, but I'm assuming this is not um, a preferred metal. But they did a nice job with it. Then we have this. <laughs> Let's get this earring out of here because you will be easy. We still have this another earring. This ring that says Israel. So I would love to get that out of there. Okay, we're at least free with the ring. This is Tiger's Eye, possibly. <laughs> this is stunning. It looks almost like they took a very polished um, Tiger's Eye, let's call it for lack of anything else, and dunked it in a lava and let the lava, the volcano lava, kind of grow over it. I'm not doing a very good job with this. It's a substantial piece, but not very weighty. I'll have to measure it. I'm gonna guess it's probably like an eight, maybe a seven and a half to an eight and a half. It is Israel and I'm sure I'll find another stamp, but Israel almost always uses um, sterling silver. It's beautiful. Okay, next we have this, and instead of trying to detangle this entire thing, I'm just going to check the clasps to see if they're marked. This one is not. And how many clasps are there? This is a completely just different clasp. This one is marked. Okay, somebody said I have a magnification app on my phone, but I don't know how to do that. So I just take a picture from afar and then click into the picture and this says, 14 over 20. So this is 14 karat gold filled, I believe. Um, I'll have to check that. My markings are, it's the end of the night. are all swirling together and in my head like sugar plums. So that may be worth something. It's just like a very delicate, multi-strand, shorter necklace. I should probably wrap that in something so it doesn't retangle. Okay. 
Okay, we're gonna wrap that in this bag. Put that down. I don't know what this is, but this is stinking adorable. I'm hoping it's an earring. It's a little golden glove with red fingernails. It's an earring. I bet you somebody made that. Oh, I hope the next one is in there. Oh, and here's another faceted, um, like I said, I have the pink, now I have the blue, and this one's more of a smoky gray tone. So, nice, we'll put those all together. This is Brighton. Dream, the tree of life, optimism, compassion, guardian angel, harmony, love and respect, and truth. It is a toggle. Now, Brighton, doesn't always use sterling. So it, unless it's marked sterling, Brighton will sell it. So they have little badges. Let's see if I can hold those up that say different things in the inside. And the outside just has like a hand, a heart, an angel, a mug of tea. Then we have one of these. This feels very lightweight, so I can't imagine this is real. Nope, just very lightweight. Still a statement. What statement? We don't know. Oh, this is gorgeous. Okay, this is gonna be a costume piece, but it should be made in real gold because it is Stunning. Has a bit of like a Chantilly lace look. See that? You stay there. Maybe I can put my finger without flashing you. No, that's not going to work. <laughs> Take my word for it, it's really pretty. It's like a golden lace. I'm gonna say it's about a six. Okay, so let's put that in there. Have a few more big pieces and then mostly little bits and bobs. Here's an earring climbing onto this. This is four strands, it is marked. Um, C, G. I don't know that marking. It's a capital C, very simple C, and then a script J or G. You won't be able to see it. It's like this, and then like this. An oversized clasp. So on this silver gunmetal, kind of the darkened silver, there are, this happens a lot, this kind of style, rhinestone balls and faceted balls. Pretty. Nothing that unusual, but very pretty. Okay, so let's gather together some of the earrings. These are rose gold feathers. You can wear them the small little feather or shown here with the two feathers together. They're very pointy feathers. Pointy feathers. Then we have, this just looks like somebody made these out of a cloth. Faux leather maybe. Then we have these filigree ones which have the same shape but watch, watch the drama you get from these. These are like a laser cutout filigree, very lightweight. Same kind of thing, but professionally done. Love these acrylic ones. Are these bobble bar? Will it say it? I don't even know where that would say it. Okay, so they are hoops, very lightweight, pierced ears. And like whites and oranges and greens and blues very neutral but at the same time I love them okay we can gather these five blackened matte black bangles together they fit 
So if you also have a ginormous fist, these might also fit you. Okay, let's see. Now it's a mix and match. We have a peace sign or a yin yang. Yin yang is different, I think. Peace sign. Little silver tone peace signs, about a half inch. No markings. One giant black ball and nothing else. So that will go over there unless I stand up and, oh, here's something. <laughs> this is marked. Um, it's knotted, but it is a tiny gold chain. It is marked. It's stamped with a diamond. I don't know if the diamond says anything. Let's just put that down. No, I don't want to look at my face. Okay, yeah, it's just a diamond. So there's that. But we'll we'll look it up. Okay, we have green. I don't know what these little things are called. They're for pierced ears, but then there's like a back closure. The green plastic. I'll lock them up. Let's see, we have a black bow. Any other takers? Yes, two black bows. One is missing a little um silver ball so this will be put over there I'm gonna be bummed if there's no other glove we have two like puffed gemstones these are cool I wonder if some these are very cool they are very industrial looking um, nobody like shine them up or anything they're lightweight it's like a folded gemstone I love them. Next, ooh, this looks good. So do you and you. Let's let's put our keepers over here. You look nice. You look like you're missing bits. I don't think we have another one of those. That's just looking not good. Cavalier? Cavalier? I don't know. This looks like March's or December's birthstone. These are marked 925, so these are sterling. And because they're sterling, I'm gonna guess they're probably aquamarine or a blue topaz or one of those types of gemstones. My sister's birthday was in March. Okay, do we have another one of these? We do. This has a fancy golden um put her back on i don't know what you call that the thing goes on the back of the pierced ear post i don't think so fun though just a little pop of color almost bobble bar-esque but done with more muted colors okay all of these pieces i don't know what you are let's put you up here we have one blue. Do we have any more blue? We do not. Bummer. I liked that. We have one of these square ones. Any more square ones? We do have a square one. It's the same square one. Unmarked. It looks like somebody, probably um, somebody who knows what they're doing made these we will keep those this is marked or squashed it could just be squashed this does nothing there's no hook there's no post oh pretty i swear i'm trying to go fast oh here's another pretty one okay these look like j crew Not marked. Hold on. Maybe marked. Not marked. I thought maybe that little 
dent on the side was a mark. Um, rhinestones with like a brownish <laughs> color bottom. My adjectives are running dry. <laughs> Do we have another one of these? Oh, that's pretty too. I don't see another one of these. Oh, take that back. This looks well made. It's like a bamboo circle in gold, fake gold, a little stack of stones, and then like a fake amber translucent dangle thing. Okay, this one should be fairly easy to find if we have it, because it's the only light blue, which I guess we don't have it. Nope. We have a ring. It is marked. It's marked sterling. Let's just make sure that says sterling and not something else like stife. I don't know. Come on, focus. Oh, that might actually say something besides sterling. S-T-E-R-L. Oh, it says sterling. The L was just not printed in. Oh, this is stunning. Is this a mood ring? It has a very ornate, fancy, old look about it. And the fact that they even marked it sterling rather than 925, I'm going to guess that might be an age thing. It's all filigreed. And then the top of it, it reminds me of like a really shined up penny or a mother of pearl. <sighs> that did nothing. It's a tiny size too. I'm going to guess that's probably a five. Okay, we're going faster. I keep saying that we're not going faster. We have these golden little pot strainers that you could put your noodles through. We have one elongated faux pearl and another one. These are marked Rich and Liz. That can't possibly be what that says, right? Rich and Liz. Okay, let's blow it up. Richie Lou? That also doesn't seem right. Let's get one last thing before we give up on this. R I C H E L I E U. That could have also been a B. Richie Lou. <laughs> I'm not even gonna look them up. Richie Lou. Pearls and rhinestones. Are all the rhinestones there? There are. Okay. We'll call them Richie Lou's till I figure out what that says. Some faux turquoise, red and orange. Studs. Do we have another one of these dingle dangles? I don't think we do. Huh. Okay, how about this? This is a gold bar with, we do have two of these gold bars with silver hoop. The metal is very bent out of shape, and although there's two of them, I will be putting those over there. We have another old pearl. I don't want to bite it. Do we have a second old pearl? Yes, we do. These are very old. I don't know if that's good or not. They've lost all of their luster. 
We have a Druzy and another Druzy. Little gray Druzy, so a little sparkle. We have one wooden bead that would have matched those. Goodbye. These are really pretty. Okay, we've, we're gonna do the big ones first. Get those out of the way. Like this must be missing something or does it just go up into there? Oh, I fixed it. Do we have another one of these then? No, no we do not. So just one of those. We do have two of these. These are very pliable metal. I can't imagine they're even stamped. 925, these are ugly and so pliable, but we will be keeping those to go to the pawn shop. Anything like that um, that I can sell at the pawn shop, I will. We have some glitter balls, tiny little studs with pave rhinestones. Very shiny yellow gold. I'm guessing these are not marked just by the shininess um, with some fake rhinestones. They're like plastic rhinestones and fake half pearls. Then we have some dangles, pale pink. I think the paint has just chipped off of this pearl. Or maybe it just cleaned it up. Yeah, okay. So this might be real, might be fake. I'll investigate those a little bit later. Lots of pearls in this box. We have another um, I'm guessing this one's also sterling. Blue gemstone. This is, is that 14 karat? I think my husband's talking to somebody on the phone. It's very exciting. Okay, let's see what's in there. Ten karat. So these are 10 karat. It's also a maker's mark. Okay, so we have two of those in 10 karat. They are a light blue stone. And then we have one of the same light blue stone. I'm assuming these are also 10 karat. These are marked, but only one, darn it. This is marked 14 karat. So we will keep all of those. I love these little bars with flowers. I don't think they're real anything, but they look like ladles almost, but the ladle cup is made out of a flower. I wear the wrong color shirt. Then we have this, but just one. Oh, we have another one of these. Oh, but it's broken. We have two bars, shockingly enough. And these are both stamped with a spade, which that doesn't do me very good. I don't know what that marking is. I'll have to look that up on Google. And they both have what looks to be their original back and those are not marked. So they're a, a tiny little bar and around the side of them are, I'm gonna say rhinestones, could be real diamonds, but who knows at this point. Okay, we have some weird pieces and then that's it unless I stand up and find a treasure trove underneath. Okay, 
So we have these. I'm guessing this was just meant to Let's go through. I do have one pierced ear still. Like, um, what are these called? Yeah, like that. An ear goer thrower. A wishbone that goes through both sides of your ear. So those, those in golden tone. They don't seem to be marked. So boring. Then we have these, which really do look like sterling, but are you marked? I do have sterling cleaner to at least give them a shine. If they clean up with sterling cleaner, that means absolutely nothing, but it gets my hopes up. So I'm guessing these are the same thing. This is the only ear and honestly, I'm shocked I even got that through. Some kind of thing. Do I look elegant? So I'll have those tested at the pawn shop. And then gosh darn it, my very favorite thing, <laughs> which isn't marked and it's probably worth almost nothing, but, um, it's a gold metallic glove on a post with red fingernail polish and it is a pierced ear. So I'm going to keep this forever and in hopes that one of the boxes I have yet to open and I still haven't opened like 40 boxes will have that mate and then we can all celebrate together. And I think that's about it. So the items that are going to the junk box are over here. That's everything that was less than a pound. And the junk box at this point is almost ready to be sold. Oh, yay! I have another one of those blue um, 14 karat gold earrings. So yay to that. And that's probably the better thing to have, but I wish I would have come across that hand. Well, if I do an editing, I'll let you know. But I had a good time. Thanks for keeping me company. I've been wanting to do this for so long, and I use these as rewards for getting stuff done. I had ketchup day yesterday, which I spell K. I spell like the food ketchup, um, the condiment ketchup. And I caught up on everything I needed to do. And then today was a nice day. I photographed and Bear and I went for a walk just around the community. Our community is starting to reopen slowly, but we're gonna let everybody else decide how that goes and I will stay inside. <laughs> so until next time, take care, be well. Thank you so much for watching, bye. We hope your day is blooming with joy.